So the seal, baby! Woohoo! <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Elder Scrolls Legends, a game that I took a little break from, but came back to with uh, the quickness. And it's been taken over by a new company, Sparky Pants, so I think they're doing a pretty good job with it. Uh, I've been posting many YouTube videos lately. But I'm hoping to change that up just a little bit, and we should start, but start doing that with a uh, a card opening, because I have 40 packs just sitting around waiting for the good good, and uh, I think most of them are Morrowind packs. Yeah, I have 30 Morrowind packs, four basic packs, and six Skyrim packs. So we'll start with the Skyrim packs because I have basically every card except the legendaries in these packs. And uh, we'll end with the Morrowind packs because there's 30 of them and they're delicious with all the plots and uh, the exalts and whatnot. Actually, exalts not that good, but plot and betray are, are pretty amazing. So let's see what it do with these Skyrim packs first. R Restoration Tutor, Circle Initiate, Raging Horker, Night Prowler, Ulfric Zealot, Scout Support. I really like Night Night Prowler. Um, yeah, not, not, not too many great cards there, but I've got plenty of Night Prowler cards. I've got Shieldbreaker, Mage's Trick, Sightless Skull, Insightful Scholar, Solitude Stalwart. Again, not a very great pack. Mage's Trick is pretty okay. I actually don't have, um, three of those, so it's, it's nice to get one more. Shadow Master, hey, our first halfway rare card. Give a friendly creature cover, your opponent can't target it with actions until your next turn. Obviously pretty good if you want to keep a creature safe. If, uh, yeah. If it, if it really, really matters that you get that creature skill or whatever activated. Restoration Tutor, Cardspire Scourge, Ulfric Zealot, Snowhawk Detachment, Thalmor Justicar. Well, yep, 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 yep. I'm not too impressed with these packs so far. We've got a... Dark Rebirth, Call of Valor, Winterhold Illusionist, Young Dragonborn, Elder Gleam, Elder Gleam Matron, Revered Guardian. Again, not amazing. I kind of like that Winterhold Illusionist, but it's not a rare card. And I'm sure I've got plenty of them if I were to uh, look in my collection. Revealing the Unseen, Elixir of Vitality, Battlefield Scrounger, Battle Mage's Onslaught, Court Wizard, and Conjuration Scholar. Again, not too impressive. I like Revealing the Unseen and Battlefield Scrounger, but not super rare cards there either. Come on, give me some epics, bruh! A Knight to Remember! Priest of the Eight, Thalmor Justicar, Swiftwing Dragon, Stoutheart Giant, Black Reach Rebuilder. I hope this is not a uh, an omen of things to come, because those packs were really, really quite disappointing. I don't want to seem ungrateful, you know, but I've, I've been saving the packs up, you know, hoping hoping that there was something amazing in there to share with you guys. And uh, that's not the case for those Skyrim packs. But that's okay, like I said, I have most of the, the Skyrim cards, so I knew somewhat what to expect. Uh, the basic packs, I believe I have a lot of these as well. We'll see how it goes. Skaven Pyromancer, Execute, Droshell Armor, Oh, Hamar Rock Renegade, Slay Draw Card. Yeah, that's not real, not really that amazing, but at least it's got a cool animation and shit. It's like, hey, purple, epic, amazing, super, great. Uh, yeah, it might it might go pretty well in a in a couple of decks that I have. I really like that slay ability, draw a card, super convenient. Come on, give me some epics, bruh. Daring cut purse. Hey, there's a Reed Blade Master. I've already got him, but hell, I'll take another one. Shove him in dicks all day. Yeah, boy. All right, so I asked for an epic. I got an epic. Or, I, yeah, a legendary. I asked for a legendary. I got a legendary. And Reeve is actually a pretty good one, if you can keep him alive. Getting that two damage when you attack, then four damage when you attack. Ooh, sexy. Healing Hands, Morkel cool Gatekeeper, Lurking Mummy, Executes. Farsight Nereid and Evermore Steward. Okay, okay. Hmm. 
Alexa Protector, Cast Out, Imperial Legionnaire, Anxalil Invader, uh, Giant Bat, Lurking Mummy. Not impressed. Alright, now we're in the Morrowind pack, so hopefully this is going to have some, some good stuff for me. More than just one epic card, or legendary card. I mean, uh, hopefully more than one epic card as well, but we'll see. Nyx Ox, uh, Rid of Execution, Rising of Bones, Spirit Knife, Vigilant Ancestor. Hey, Vigilant Ancestor is pretty cool. Guard, and he's permanently shackled. But you could totally uh, silence Vigilant Ancestor if you've got like a silence card and then let him go to town. Really, 5 attack, 4 health isn't that impressive, but yeah. It's, it's a very cheap cost card for a 5-4. I find it interesting and yeah it's an epic so that's that's pretty nice as well um, what else we got ascended sleeper Ooh, I don't have this at the end of your turn if you have a creature of five or more reduce the cost of all creatures in your hand by one pretty cool okay trespassers bane ash oppressor nyx hound balistra war rider six, six house amulet all right I have seen most of these cards because uh, I've been playing a bit of arena to get these card packs. Another Bally's Reward, War Rider, Ash Berserker, Trespasser's Bane, Deranged Corpus, Dagoth Dagger, Grand Inquisitor. Okay, that's not too bad. I like getting uh, a lot of those Bally's for War Riders. Maybe we'll uh, do a little rally deck or something. Other than the House Redoran fucking uh, whatever, pre built deck. Boring, pre built deck, boring. Fighter's Guild Steward. Cool. Vivic City Pilgrim. Telvani Cat's Paw. Ooh, I'll stick that in my Betray deck. I don't think I have enough of those yet. Nyx Hounds. Wild Clumsiness. Cool Law Keeper. Cool Law Keeper is pretty cool, isn't he? And he, and he keeps the law! <laughs> uh, Bully's Reward Rider again. Ash Berserker. Ashlander Zealot. Dagoth Dagger again. Lower Canton Smith. Spirit Knife. Okay. Can we get some, like, amazing shit going? Give me some epics, bruh. Dagoth Oathman, Ancestral Dead, Traitor's Flames. I guess that is an epic. Okay, how about the legendaries? <laughs> Glass Greaves, Telvanni Cat's Paw again. Alright. I'm grateful for the Telvanni Cat's Paw and the, the Cora Bloodkin, Cora Clan, whatever. Vampires are nice, because the drain. Because the drain! You like the drain, don't you? Six House Amulet, Burning Touch, Suron Pawnbroker, Wild Clumsiness again, Kamanatan Heavy, Bone Walker. Now tell me why Burning Touch is fucking three mana costs and two two damage to a creature. That's trash. I'll fill my fucking deck up with fireballs before I stick Burning Touch in there. I mean it is prophecy, but come on man, two damage for three mana? <laughs> Get real. There are some very cool cards in the Morrowind expansion, and some very not cool cards. <laughs> Fighters Guild Hall, Core Clan Budkin, again, Dagoth Oathman, Wild Clumsiness. I got a shit ton of Wild Clumsiness. I'm gonna have to uh, disenchant some of these. Lower Canton Smith, Sadanine Courier. Sadanine Courier is actually pretty cool for like a Betray deck or something like that. Stick them in there, get the, the Steel Sword going, and then uh, sacrifice the hell out of them. That's, that's a good idea. Then I don't have to sit around and wait for Vardvarks. Vardvarks uh, are one of my favorite things to, to sacrifice. And yeah. It's pretty easy to get a lot of them on the field if you if you get lucky with the draws. But anyways. Satan and Courier again. Yes, it's a sign. Sacrifice him. Guar Stable Master. Deranged Corpus again. Red Around Battle Spear. Red Around Oathmen. Rising of Bones. I really like this fucking Battle Spear. That is an amazing item. Uh, obviously the rarity is not too high, but fuck it. Giving your creatures rally? That's that's pretty cool. Isn't it? Isn't it? Cliff Hunter, Bloodline Outcast, Ghostgate Defender, Rising of Bones, Indoro Mastermind, Six House Amulet. It's really sad Indoro Mastermind was just nerfed. Nerfed to shit, and now he's just a more expensive, but crappier, Thieves Guild recruit. There's no reason to use him anymore. He used to be like, uh, he'd show you two cards, and you could pick one and discard the other. And that was good for milling your deck. 
but at, as it stands now, he's uh, basically trash. I do like that Bloodline Outcast, though. 7-7, seven, 7 seven cost, and if something dies, it gets drained, so good. Fucking play Rising of Bones, betray one of your creatures, guess what, one of your creatures is dead, or even one of the enemy's creatures is dead if you attack it. Then you get the drain, then you, then you do amazing shit and flip the whole game. Because 7 health, yeah, them losing 7 health and you gaining 7 health, that's, that's a huge fucking flip if you can get it to work. Uh, ambitious Hireling, Theranus Lawman, Clockwork City Pilgrim, Stand Watch, Mudcrab Merchant, hey! <laughs> it's kind of shit, but whatever. Ambitious Hireling is pretty cool if you can get a rally deck going, you know? Because he adds his health and power, so you can make him into a 5-5 and then play him, and then you play a 5-5 and also basically uh, give 5-5 to one of your creatures, which can really, really flip things if he gets rallied up nice. But uh, Mudcrab Merchant is our epic card. Which is kind of disappointing, but it's good for the lols, I guess. I should make a, a crab deck and see how that goes. Probably terribly. Uh, Moonmoth Ca Castellan, Moon Sugar Smuggler, Telvani Oathman, Bloodline Outcast again, Dismantle, Awakened Dreamer. Mm, not too impressed. Not too impressed. Serethi Scion, Ash Oppressor, Mournhold Pilgrim. Hey, Fleeting Apparition! Nixox, Poetic Armager. Let's see. Fleeting Apparition, summon a random creature from your deck that costs three or less to a random lane, unsummoned it at the end of your turn. Okay, so I guess... Yeah, put it into your hand. Hooray! But it, it it's gonna cost three or less. So that's disappointing. Eh, whatever. Better than nothing, right? Hey, hey! Servant of Dagoth, Corpus Disease, Guar Stablemaster, Lower Canton Smith, Dren Bodyguard, Halalu Oathman. I like that Servant of Dagoth. It's, it's harder than you think to get a creature with more than 5 power, though. Unless you get some items and shit. Which I should make an item deck. Blue Claw Matron. Oh! Oh dear, Nin. Odir Naran Necromancer. Odir Naran Necromancer? Yeah, that's what it is. Summon a creature from your discard pile with less power than Odir Naran Necromancer. Alright, pretty sweet legendary. On summon. From, yeah, he, he brings somebody back from the discard pile? That's fucking sweet. I like it. Ashlander Zealot, Serethi Scion, Awakened Dreamer, Satanine Courier. Can we get some more of those legendaries? Can you, can you hook me up with that, please? Lame Corpus, Dagoth Oathman, Ashland Zealot, Halalu Oathman, Nyx Hound, Sotha Seal, baby! Woohoo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much! At the end of your turn, if you have an exalted creature in play, summon an Awakened Imperfect. Awakened Imperfect 8 8 with Breakthrough and Guard! My god. That is. That is so good. That is so good. Are you fucking kidding me? If you have an exalted creature in play, does it count for him as well, or do I need to shove more exalted creatures in this deck? Either way, fucking amazing. That is a really, really good card. I'm happy to have that for sure. Kinda made it all worth it. <laughs> Grin Bodyguard, Vivic City Pilgrim, Tribunal Oathman, Barzal. Barilzar's Tinkering. Serpent of Dagoth, Dress Spy. Dress Spy is pretty cool. Should shove that into a few decks. Look at the top card of your deck. You may discard it. Alright. I'm gonna fill up a deck with Dress Spies. <laughs> Poetic Armager, Vivic City Pilgrim, Telvani Oathman, Six House Amulet, Satanine Courier, Corner Club Gambler. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Lose a card to gain two cards. Yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. Unless, you know, they destroy the card and then you just lose the one card because if it's not alive on the turn after you lose the one card, then you won't get your two cards. So that's, that's I guess, where the gambling part comes in. 
Anywho, Temple Patriarch. Trigger the exalt of each friendly creature. That's pretty sweet. Moon Sugar Smuggler, Red Ran Oakman, Sarithi Cyan, Glass Greaves, Betty Netch. Betty Netch, Batch! <laughs> that Temple Patriarch could uh, have some decent uses if you play a lot of exalt creatures, which I don't. Most exalt creatures are pretty disappointing, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, but who knows? Maybe they'll find their use. Illusory Defenses, Six House Amulet, Red Ran Battle Sphere. Moritong Night Nightblade. Hey, that's pretty sweet. On Slay, draw a card. If it's an action, reduce its cuts to zero. All right, all right. Spirit Knife, Moon Moss, Castle in. I guess yeah. They do have some really high cost actions. Imagine you you're playing your Moritong Nightblade, you know, and then you slay something and you draw the Spirit Knife. Seven mana reduced to zero. Fuck yeah. But that's if it's an action. Which, I don't know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, there was like a little lag, maybe we get something real good in here. Drain blood. Debase experiments. Summon a copy of a friendly creature. I guess, I guess that's pretty good. If you got some, some big badasses out there. Spirit knife. Murugtong assassin. Nyx hound. Rid of execution. Yeah, this, this could be pretty good in my uh, Betray deck. It, unfortunately, you have to play House Silvani, which uh, I don't think my Betray deck is. It could be. Uh, yeah, if I just shove some agility cards in there. I think my Betray deck is currently in, in uh, Endurance. But whatever. Let's see what else we got. Prison Ship, Glass Greaves, Bar Barlzar's Tinkering, Bushwhack, Vivic City Pilgrim, Ash Oppressor. This bushwhack is fucking amazing. Prison Ship is also a lot of fun. So, um, yeah. Can't wait to play with those. I probably need to buy some more bushwhacks and build a, uh, a deck around that. Because ignoring guards, attacking creatures in any lanes, shit can get crazy. Why do we even have guards or lanes anymore? <laughs> I know there's another uh, creature, some sort of dragon, that's able to do that as well. So, yeah. Maybe spend some of my soul gems on that. Anyways, eight packs left to go. Hang in there, babies. We got Dress Spy, Lame Corpus, Moon Moth Castellan, Deranged Corpus, uh, Blue, Blue Claw Matron, Grand Inquisitor. Not super impressed. Happy to have another Dress Spy, though, I guess. If I had to pick something. <laughs> Cliff Hunter, Ancestral Dead, Dren Bodyguard, Barzaz Tinkering, Glass Greaves, Bone Walker. Disappointing? Come on, come on! Where's the legendaries at? Moon Moth Castle N, Amalexia's Disciple, Major Skilled Recruit, Corpus Disease, Dress Spy, Stand Watch. Hmm. Major Skilled Recruit. I'm glad they have all the recruits now. You know? It was just Fighter and Thieves Guild, and I'm like, what about the Mages Guild? And they're like, alright, here you go. Here you go. Ritteran Forerunner, Bellies for War Rider, Rid of Execution, Ritteran Oathman, Blighted Werebat. Yeah! Look at him. He's so cool. He's so cool. 4-4 four, four with Drain. At the end of your creature, if you have a... If, end of your turn, if you have a creature with five or more, deal two damage to your opponent. And that two damage also drains, which is fucking sick. And then there's also the Red Ran Forerunner, which has Charge, Drain, and Ward. Uh, not much to write home about unless you can get it rallied up. And then, like I said, drop a 5-5 with Charge, Drain, and Ward. Oh, you come buckets. <laughs> it's so good for you. Uh, but yeah, that Blighted Werebat, that's going to find a place in, in some deck that I have. Drain deck, maybe. Satanine Courier, Servant of Dagov, Ashlander Zealot, Cliff Hunter. Halalu Sharpshooter! Hey everybody, Halalu Sharpshooter! It's not that impressive, but I guess. I guess I'll take it. Silencing things is always nice. Blue Claw Matron, Ornery Kagudi, uh, Ancestral Dead, Cliff Hunter, Spirit Knife, Silt Strider. Hmm. I guess Silt Strider would get get it along pretty well with my, uh, my move deck. Moving all them creatures back and forth. Buffing them up. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Only a couple packs left. Come on, legendaries. Let's do it. 
Last Greaves, Betty Netch, Moon Sugar Smuggler, Root of Execution, Satanine Courier, Mage's Guild Recruit. Oh, come on, baby! Come on, baby! I know this is the big one right here, baby! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> oh, Ash Berserker, Guar Stable Master, Police for War Rider, Haunted Manor. Hey, that's not bad. I'm gonna use that for sure. I wish I had like two more of those. Damn. Uh, Daedric Crescent, Dren Bodyguard. Well, I'm pretty happy with that overall. I mean, Sofa Sill is really what pulled it together. I, I thought about crafting that card for the longest time. Um, and I think Vivek is the other Exalt card that... If you have an Exalted friendly creature in play, you can't lose the game. Which is, like, fucking ridiculous. So, I thought about buying Vivek as well, but... We'll save up some more packs, I suppose, and, and we'll see how that goes. Anyways... Thank you guys for joining me. Definitely, definitely having fun with uh, Elder Scrolls Legends. I hope you guys will jump on it because, you know, it's free to play and stuff like that. Thank you for jumping on this video, uh, hanging out with the Dayton Does. We're going to try and get some more YouTube content together ASAP. Uh, I've got some stuff in the backlog. I just need to do thumbnails and all that stuff, which is uh, a bit of a pain. You know, I've been spoiled by streaming. But if you want to see me stream uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time over on Caffeine, Twitch, even here on YouTube, I'm, I'm restreaming everywhere. So check me out if you would like. I would appreciate it quite, quite heartily. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow, uh, etc. <laughs> check out links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon if you'd like to hit me up personally. I would appreciate that as well. Anyways, friends, I'll see you in the next one. This has been Elder Scrolls Legends. A bit of a pack opening. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. Thank you once again for watching. And until then, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.